Hey guys, we have the Oppo N1 Mini here with the optional O click. Um, this phone's gonna cost you about 27,000. We found it on a Flipkart. We also found three colors. We have the mint color out here. You also get the yellow, the white, and some of the other colors, but we saw the first three colors only on Flipkart for now. As always, the box is very compact, hard, durable, and classy. It's white this time, so once you open the box, you would see there's the beautiful mint color phone. And we'll come back to the phone just in a bit. We love the color, we love the subtle mint color here that's very easy on eyes. And once we go inside further, you have the the uh, SIM pin, the pin that opens the SIM tray basically and then some of the uh, I see quick user guide and some inf other informations you also have the two round pin wall adapter that has an output of 1 ampere, 1000 milliampere your micro USB 2.0 port and the not so premium uh, earphones that only has mic and call control and not the volume control really also the o click i think this time is optional so let's take a look at the oppo n1 mini now it looks almost identical to the full size n1 but it's much more manageable now it has only a 5 inch screen and um, despite of 150 gram and about 9.9 .9 or 9.7 mm um, thickness this actually does not feel as heavy as the N1 of course but it's still on the heavier side as far as the 5 inch uh, devices are concerned it's mostly plastic very high quality um, in a polycarbonate and we absolutely love the build quality and the design overall most of all we love the colors they are very subtle very easy on eye and at the same time you have those vibrant colors like mint yellows and stuff but even when you grab the yellow you uh, it's not very loud and that's the very good thing about uh, the N1 Mini's colors. So the 5 inch screen has HD resolution it's powered by a Snapdragon 400 uh, chipset you have uh, 2 GB of RAM 16 GB of internal storage and unfortunately no micro SD card you have one SIM slot out here micro SIM slot and then you have uh, the unique rotating 13 MP camera that we saw on the N1 for the first time in the world and some of the other manufacturers has tried to copy it actually you have your earphones out there notification LED light and sensors you would have uh, the shortcut keys out here back home and menu you will see when we show you the display power button uh, mouthpiece 3.5 mm jack micro usb 2.0 port the speaker grill and volume rocker nothing much on the top because you need space to rotate the camera you have a secondary noise cancelling mic out there the oppo branding back is non-removable and it looks absolutely cool and uh, the side this silver two silver lines run throughout the side of the phone that gives the phone a very very uh, premium accent so overall we absolutely we love the design of the n1 design and look of the n1 as well but we just thought that was too heavy and too big this has finally got the size and the weight right the oppo n1 mini is powered by android 4.3 and you have oppo's in-house color os skin on top so you will see the look and feel very very different just like the n1 but there is not much uh, in fact not um, uh, significantly more features added in the n1 mini alone it, it's mostly the identical user interface that you've seen on the n1 you have uh, the home pages out here you have the brilliant camera which that we absolutely love you can straight away take photos right from the home page out here you see and then your notification bar this is a gesture control and if you drag it from here you'll see quick function toggle bar you can also actually uh, expand or contract this one and then you can straight away go to your settings from your your typical um, 4.3 settings overlay yeah see those storage and all so out of 16 you have roughly under 11 GB of space available the about phone you can see it's 4.3 and sound and then 
some of the display things. So this guy has many tricks up its sleeve, but as I told you before, I'm not gonna go too deep into it because it's not it's um, not many things that are new exclusive to the N1 Mini. Yeah. Of course, you can long press here, and you can straight away go to Google now. This one will take you to adding widgets and wallpapers and stuff. Long press on this one will take you to uh, the recent app menu that's the back and some of the apps out here. No bloatware at all. You get the usual Google Android apps. Yeah, it's easier this way. And you also have some of Oppo's in house apps and tools, O clicks, and those are some of the tools you can see this and you have the dialer it's pretty good dialer anything uh, you know you can also go ahead do this and you can paste your numbers and some of the other things and then we can also go to messaging and then you can see it's it's pretty big um, keyboard thanks to the 5 inch screen it also supports swipe gesture becomes very very big and very very comfortable it also has that brilliant 3d look that also uh, almost makes it look like it's uh, made of rubber that just just a bit elevated keys that makes it uh, somehow psychologically maybe um, easier to type then you have the music menu here again almost identical to that of the N1 we'll try the volume I'm walling now. I'm leaning in. Oh my god, brilliant speaker output. I'm leaning in. Pushing off my sneakers to the ground. I do not jump. I move the earth down. Bellway. Sorry for the message. The genius of myself. Born at the bottom, but now I'm top down. Look, I'm a call it swagger. I slip through time zones like a looking dagger. Mad rubies on my chain. You pay my balloon. Baby girls in my head because she's. So brilliant speaker output are uh, the speakers is uh, situated right here not on the back side on the sides the sound output is very very loud even for a um, you know very crowded place and also the bass and even the treble is proper the bass is not flat like many of the phones of this price point you see even the frequency response is very good here those bass here those bass they're brilliant and very thumpy so absolutely perfect speaker quality uh, we well we like the earphones but then we have seen better sound output or we have heard rather um, if we use more premium set of earphones those earphones that are supplied with these are not exactly premium class so, but uh, if you, um, you you know use some of the more expensive ones some of the um, more expensive Sony one even and even clips ones the sound um, output is brilliant then you have the camera the 13 MP camera as you can see it borrowed the rotating camera from N1 and let's see it goes all round round you can take photos of various angles and then it goes around here now uh, this is a rather small sensor size 1 by 3.2 inch it's Sony's Exmor RS sensor R stacked sensor but it has a pretty uh, fast lens f by 2.0 is the max aperture you have a very intuitive and simple user interface out here and it's very very fast you can see not absolute zero leg but it's good enough yeah and some of those ultra hd takes 24 mp ultra hd photos and beauty and hdr and panorama and then start shooting video you can also click stills while recording video now the camera and the photo and video quality is one of the biggest strength of the oppo n1 mini 
the photos and videos under inner flight are brilliantly detailed but what most impressed us is its low light performance when you go and see some of the uh, low light photos that we've taken maybe in party indoor where uh, maybe in some a club or something where uh, the light is very very low and even on a nighttime street uh, we found that the noise level is greatly corrected, greatly reduced compared to some of the other phones at this price point and even uh, might be, uh, you know, I mean, those slightly more expensive. Um, they're brilliant and uh, some of the photos that we've clicked like this um, water scene, uh, the, uh, the water pouring from the bottle are so brilliant that we absolutely uh, you, know, you can almost see all the detail even under in a flight. Of course, there would be noise because the sensor is very very small. But when we compare it to the similar, uh, when we compare the phone sensor really, and even if we compare it to some of those bigger dedicated camera sensors, the Oppo N1 Mini actually performs admirably. This is it should be one of the USP of the N1 Mini. It's brilliant camera. Brilliant camera, brilliant sound output and let's go to the gallery and show you how the display is. So the 5 MP, uh, 5 inch um, you know, uh, HD display is well, it's bright enough but not exactly crisp but Oppo does a good job of not making those icons pixelated because uh, you can see those icon faces are very very um, light colored. So you don't get to see that pixelation and if you go and if you see our color card even the colors are rendered quite good actually even the reds are not oversaturated and if you see some of the other sample photos the detail is there even if you zoom in all the way up yeah you see you can see the detail levels very very clearly and even the viewing angle is actually very good you see a brilliant display as well coming back to the gallery per se all the albums are arranged in stack you can go to any uh, particular photo and you can go to edit and share and do other things upload pictures and all those stuffs yeah so FX and you also love some of the color edits that the gallery has by default you can of course uh, install many third-party Android apps um, video let's check out the video and see how it plays sound output and the display So the blacks are not exactly very dark uh, but the viewing angle is fine but the sound output is mesmerizing proper bass in um, uh, you know, a proper surround sound we just wish there was another uh, speaker grill somewhere here because they would have given uh, like the HTC boom speakers a very good surround sound system 
so overall the video playback is also cool and overall the system is uh, pretty smooth uh, despite of having a snapdragon 400 processor the ram is quite decent actually 2gb ram but uh, even after that the color os is actually very very optimized and does not uh, put too much pressure on um, the system and the memory even if you multitask a lot does not lag much it lags at times uh, but for daily usage for average uh, average users if you use this phone moderately and even to probably moderately too high frequency or that that level of usage this guy does not lag and so overall even the user interface many of the elements actually uh, impress us uh, only one thing is a uh, relatively low resolution um, screen um, the blacks are not very deep that could be one of the negative thing but then I'm really hard pressed to find that one negative thing most of the other things are good and uh, the battery life is also brilliant it gave us almost about uh, I don't know 12 and a half hours of continuous usage and mainly thanks to again the low res screen so the low res screen actually helps sometimes because screen takes almost 40 45 percent of your total battery usage so a brilliant uh, hardware and brilliant user interface as well despite of having um, some of the older mid-range specs here. We did some uh, dedicated videos on the gameplay benchmark and some of the other uh, testings and uh, you might want to check out those and by the way uh, to conclude the benchmarks are not very good actually um, but the gameplay is fine and it played almost all game we threw on it perfectly and very very smoothly. So should you get the Oppo N1 Mini? Well, at the price range of 27, surprisingly there aren't many open and the um, main formidable one we found is the Galaxy Note 3 Neo. There are some of the older devices um, that, um, you know, that have reduced the price and then got to this uh, point. For example, maybe S5 Mini would be slightly more expensive than this. And um, even if you um, go slightly up, you would get some of the very very good handsets like the Moto X and also the uh, brand new Lenovo Z2 Pro but we're not gonna go out there we're talking about 5k more so at this price point this guy can really stand out um, if you do not mind the Oppo brand see there's a there has been an issue of the availability of these phones and also um, I've heard some of the after sales issues I haven't personally experienced um, those because I don't own an Oppo phone personally. I have just heard people saying but Oppo has recently tied up with Flipkart uh, to make the phones available. You can now see this Oppo N1 mm, uh, mini available for all, just under 27,000. Three colors white, mint and the yellow one available on Flipkart. They are in stock as in today. So Oppo is progressing good as far as uh, you know grabbing a foothold in the uh, Indian market. The, uh, as far as the availability is concerned, I think that's pretty much sorted. You get it on Flipkart. I don't know how available these phones are offline, but Flipkart is as good as offline. I mean, as far as I know. So. Uh, we definitely recommend this if you like the Oppo N1 then we definitely recommend the N1 mini mainly because of its manageable size and weight plus if you're a selfie free then absolutely the 13 MP camera the USB of this device a rotatable camera would definitely delight you because this the camera quality is one of the biggest strength of the Oppo N1 mini. If you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this phone and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel for more such awesome content in future we also have a facebook group where everyone can ask question and you would find the community eager to answer your queries you can join the facebook uh, group the details and the link should be in the description thank you